One of the absolute favorite moments of the year for me is being at the Alex Haley Farm, which the Children's Defense Fund uh, bought in 1994, so from Alex Haley, and welcoming last year almost 2,000 site coordinators and servant leader interns from around the country. Um, it's extraordinary. It's like putting flesh on hope uh, to see bus after bus coming and these young people um, who come out of impoverished communities, largely young folks of color who have defied the odds, who have really um, bet everything that more is possible than they have been shown and who come onto the Alex Haley Farm, which is not only safe space, but connects. So Alex Haley roots the whole legacy of slavery in this country. The civil rights movement, the rocking chairs on our cabins are all uh, named and printed with the names of civil rights workers and leaders um, with young organizers now. So when the young college age servant leader interns come, they learn community organizing, they learn cultural history, they learn about economics, they learn um, how to do social emotional learning, how you deal with trauma, because most of our kids come out of day after day after day trauma, uh, the trauma of poverty, the trauma of racism in this country, um, and the violence, the level of violence in so many of our communities. And the kids come together and they see themselves as this force for change. So it's more than simply being trained for a teacher to go back into school for six weeks. In fact, the impact on the servant leader interns is extraordinary. A number of folks who come in imagining different futures for themselves end up being um, school teachers, public school teachers. Um, almost a fourth of our servant leader interns are African-American and Latino males. Many of them go into public school teaching, which is urgently needed in most of our public school systems. Uh, we have very few uh, African-American and Latino males. And so they begin to imagine not only a different world for themselves, not only a different world for the scholars, but a different um, kind of public education system for this nation and then begin to invest in it. It's an extraordinary um, event. So they meet with civil rights leaders. They will this year hang out with John Lewis and with Andrew Young and James Lawson and Bob Moses, uh, with Marion Wright Edelman and a number of other folks. And then they will also hang out with young organizers who are working on the ground to end school push out, to challenge zero tolerance, um, to end the criminalization of our kids. So it's a wonderful mix, intergenerational, uh, across all the different lines um, that might divide us to really become a force for change in this country. I think it's the next movement.